Well, today turned into the Half Hippie Off-Road Recovery Show. Whew. We're on a rescue mission. Sounds like Hiram just rolled one of the four-wheelers off the road into a ravine, so we'll have to go find out how bad this is. He seems to be safe, so that's good news. Yeah, he's safe, he's by the road, his friend doesn't know he wrecked. We hope he realizes that he's not behind him anymore and we'll turn around and go back. Um, and hopefully he's okay, just not telling us he's okay. Yeah. Oh, we'll hurry up there. Okay. See you in a minute. I wasn't. Did you end up down there too? Yeah, I had to jump off. Oh, baby. You you were down there? Yeah. Did it land on top of you? No, I jumped off of there right on this um, ledge right here. I jumped off right as it was falling. So it landed over there and like f fell down? I think it kind of hit the corner of it and then fell over and then I jumped off onto that thing. So I jumped off of it as it was falling. Wow. But I wasn't going fast. I wasn't being reckless or anything i just looked back and then then boom came straight off the edge yeah we climbed up got some ropes and then climbed up out of it zach, i heard zach go right past me and i don't think he's gonna see you i don't think he saw me well you'd be hidden down in there yeah i looked forward again i was like going straight off and i tried slamming on the brakes and then i don't know that might have killed my steer my steering and then just went right over you sure you weren't going fast? I was yeah. going like 25, 30, like same as. I learned my lesson from yesterday, so I was trying to keep it down, and then I just looked back, and then. I don't know if we can flip it over. Is it even going? I'm just glad you're okay. Yeah. So let's just see how far down it fell. Because that's quite a ways down. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay. Well, if we can get the winch off a bit, and then. Just try to get it on his wheels. We so flip it over and then winch it. Pull it this way with the truck. I'm worried about Zach. He just went right past me. I heard him go right over. I, I know, but I'm worried that he hasn't come back or realized he's not following you or. Well, let's run up to the junction real quick. So he's okay. I'm okay. Gotta go find his friend. So I was going straight for it, it's like, it's something that's like, it's just like. Hey, you're alive. But see, it was like right here. I was looking back for you. I did try to see it. Yeah, no. I didn't think this on me. Because I picked up so much dirt right here, I was just like, I turned left and I kept going. I went all the yeah, way to where yeah. like I could see the, the teeth at the end. Flung you off? No, I no. jumped off. He said he came up here, stopped like right here, and then dipped in. Oh. Okay. So, I thought you went like full on. Whoop. No. Is that the best spot to get down? Or? That's kind of how I came up. I was right there where he got down. He can't put down? It's kind of steep. I jumped pretty far. It's just all over here. Careful. I kind of walked along it after I wrecked, and I didn't see anywhere good to be able to flip it out. Zach's checking it out that direction to see what the possibilities are. It does look like it's leaking gas. Uh, we'll see if Zach and I can flip it. If not, we might need you. Well, <sighs> no, apartment's on this side. Where'd you climb out of? I climbed out over here. I grabbed onto a root and just climbed up. I'm thinking if we get it, we could just hopefully just winch it up. It might be too heavy for the winch. Well, the winch should be able to hold it. It's 3,000 pounds. As long as we hook it up to the truck is what I'm thinking. Uh-huh. And then use the truck to pull it up. Okay. We might be able to 
ride it down a little bit over that way. If it'll go. And there's a little spot that kind of comes up and it's kind of flat, but the edges are kind of caved in, so it's, it might be easier than just pulling it straight up out of this. Let's get it flipped over first. Alrighty. All right, muscles. Are right, you coming down? Yeah, I'll come down inside. Yeah, be careful with your ankle. But we don't want to aggravate it more. Is your ankle okay? Um, yeah, I hurts a little bit, but yeah, I landed up right, right there. You can see my foot. If you can pull it down this direction, you have a little more room to flip it. You look like you're limping, Hiram. It's coolant, not gas. Yep. Okay, got it. It's attached to the truck. Okay, okay leave it there, Hiram. Get it. Get on the other side, up by Zach. Hey, you're gonna have to yell at me if I'm doing so crazy. Try and pull it up with the truck. Just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. All right, all right, all right. Stop! We might have to use the winch. If you do the winch, what does it do? It's gotta get passed up. Yeah, it's just pulling the tire. Uh, well, yeah, let it back a little bit. See if we can get it down over on this other, underneath that ledge. I mean, the one tire's up here and over. We just gotta get that one over. If anything, um, back the truck up a lot more. And then has less length in between the road. Well, I can straighten out a little bit more, too. Take some of the weight off of them. So turn the wheel towards me. Yeah, and now try and winch it up. Careful that cable's right here, Zach. It might pop back that way direction. Hey, Paul.
pull it two inches at the same time. Keep going! Careful, don't go off the edge. Yeah, don't pull another me. That'll be harder to jump out of going backwards. Anything to say? I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> well, today turned into the Half Hippie Off-Road Recovery Show. Fortunately, he's okay, don't worry. So we got the four wheel all loaded up. Luckfully, or thankfully, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the four wheeler's probably pretty much, but. It could have been a lot worse. We could replace a four wheeler, but we. Can't replace a Hiram. Nope. So we're glad he wasn't pinned underneath the four wheeler or something like that. His friend was right behind him, drove right past, um, didn't even see that he'd gone off. Yeah. So if we'd come up, if nobody had found him, if he was pinned. pinned underneath it. Yeah. It, uh, we could have all just driven right past him. Luckily, he was able to bail in time. And luckily, he had um, the radio yeah, with, with him. him and he was close enough that he could still get a hold of us. In the end, there are lots of ways this could have been so much worse, but we are so grateful he was okay in the end.